U.S. Supreme Court rebuffs lawyers punished after woeful suit backing Trump. Reuters. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday declined to hear an appeal by two lawyers contesting a $187,000 financial saw. An action imposed on them by a judge who found they made recklessness and frivolous claims in litigatio. And they brought seeking to overturn former President Donald Trump's 2020 election loss as fraudulent. The justices turned away the appeal by Ernest Walker and Gary Fielder, who had filed a lawsuit in Co. Laredo accusing voting equipment company Dominion Voting Systems, Meta's Facebook and the Below are your comments. There are multiple ones who will soon decide if he can continue to incite violence against the court. S with his social med. I'm not at all surprised. These lawyers, both officers of the court, misused and abused their position to assist a wannabe D. Dictator in his effort to overthrow our democracy. The price they incurred for that action is minuscule compared to the enormous damage they did by try. Ing to overturn the D. I love this trend of the lawyers placing frivolous lawsuits against people having to pay for those T. Hey accuse legal bills if not successful. It should be this way in all lawsuits. Trump's contingent is guilty of even worse attempts to throw an election. They say history doesn't repeat. By sanctioning counsel in this regard, citizens and lawyers will both hesitate to vindicate their re. GHTS, and the rights of others in similar situations. Next news. Trump and New York AG sit just feet apart in courtroom. See the moment. CNN. Former President Donald Trump sits in a New York City courthouse for the start of a civil fraud tria. L against him, his eldest sons, their companies and Trump Organization executives. Judge Arthur Engeron allowed cameras in the courtroom briefly before the trial started. Below are your comments. Trump's accountant admits in deposition he is not a CPA and never studied for it. Eric Trump says all he knows about GAAP accounting is that it means generally accepted accounting PR principles, but doesn't know anything about accounting. Donald is pinning the fraudulent accounting on others. My questie. Eric Trump was seen shaking hands and talking to Letitia James. I'm sure he thanked her and said if you are in need of more evidence against him, let me know. What's wrong with that? I just made $500,000 while reading this story. I decided to double the value of my home. Not selling but saying I live in a million-dollar suburban home sounds a lot cooler than 500. D thou. Everything is on paper in black and white. Very simple. Trump signed it. He's guilty of fraud because the government doesn't care about what you think your real estate is woe. RTH. That's your opinion only. The proof is on paper. Why is this going to take two months? Next news. NY civil fraud suit cuts to the heart of Trump's worth, which was under question for decades. NB.
C. Former President Trump is in a Manhattan courtroom appearing for the opening testimony in the civil fraud suit brought against him and the Trump Organization by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Dot. Vaughn Hilliard, Michael Schmidt, and Andrew Weissman join Andrea Mitchell to look at how the case could play out and what it means for Trump. This case cuts to the heart of perhaps the most important thing to him, and that is what he thinks his worth is. This is something that has come under coup. Below are your comments. You can put any value you want on something, but IIT is not worth any more than what someone is will. Ing to pake. If someone is going to loan money on property it is their choice to have it appraised. He had done it before. The defendant Donald Trump had inflated his own value when he was a young man. He hired some person to take the SAT for him to cheat college admission. No one knew his SAT cheat in that time making the college admission a fraud. Years later, when asked how he could be admitted, overinflated values are a big problem for the insurance industry. If Trump Tower was destroyed then Trump would want paid the overvalue. Plus there is the IRS. There were tax exemptions and tax deferments that will have to be examined. This is a can of worms for Trump. Of course he feels that he h. One day soon, everyone, including his supporters, will realize that everything about this guy always was and always will be a fraud. Next news. A pissed off Trump shows up for his bank fraud trial. The Daily Beast. Michael M. Santiago, Getty Images A visibly angry Donald Trump appeared in a New York courtroom for the Start of a bank fraud trial that has already sentenced his real estate empire to death. A little aft. R 10 a.m. Trump and his son Eric walked into court, surrounded by his large team of defense lawyers and a cadre of Secret Service agents. Trump, wearing a dark blue suit and a scowl, slowly made his way to his seat at the front of the Sioux RT room. New York Attorney General Letitia James, who's invest. Below are your comments. Now Trump showed up in court, I will pay to see him take the witness stand and answer questions with. Out taking the fifth. The only reason he is in court today is to avoid being deposed in the suit he filed against Michael. Cohen. Trump has avoided this deposition three times. Consequences in most cases come to fruition at the least expected moments in one's life. In this case for Trump it's like a birthday with loads of consequences presents all at once. One cannot engage in criminal activity and then claim that they are being persecuted by being charged. D with those offenses. That is exactly what Trump is doing, and has done for a long time. Trump will now experience a form of the legal system that he has avoided his in entire life. Which is far different from his six bankruptcies cases that he had. These court cases will be the fall of the Trump's world as he knows it along with his family. It took a long time, but his luck is about T. Next news.
U.S. Supreme Court will not hear challenge to Donald Trump's ballot eligibility. United Press Intern. Ational. The U.S. Supreme Court will not hear a case that seeks to remove former President Donald Trump from the ballot. T in 2024. Below are your comments. The U.S. In a previous. So, the lower courts will decide or the state AGs will decide. Works for me. However, you can bet if Trump is not allowed on any state ballots, the SOTU will reconsider. Recused himself in this case where no fringe benefits were involved but if this case involved the by Leonaires who gave him perks he would not recuse himself. This seems to be an all for show to appease the growing outcry about their undisclosed and unethical practices. Cool, then let the Secretary of States and ultimately the SC of each state decided if Trump can be a DDED to a their ballots or not. Being the law-abiding citizen that Trump is, I'm sure you won't have an issue there the decisions, are. Oolings. Colorado and Minnesota are not seeking ballot removal Natian-wide which would require the Supreme Co. Ert. They only seek removal from their respective state ballots. Next news. Fact check. Trump's violent thugs storm his NYC courtroom, leaving many injured. Snopes. My goodness. I have something for you that is simultaneously amazing, but frankly a little disturbing, YouTube CR. Eater Cristo Ivalis reported. Below are your comments. America needs to change the path that we are heading. However, it must be changed from within the system to maintain stability for our citizens. It just seems the system is rigged more every day. Politicians continue to pursue agendas that put us on a path to bankruptcy and the loss of our sover. Ain. Christo Ivalis is the YouTube spam king. I've reported loads of videos for totally false screen titles, nothing is ever done about it. He would absolutely love that but no there was no show of force only the elderly Trump ranting once. Again. By the way he doesn't own the Trump Tower building he leases part of the building and stuck his name on it. He couldn't afford to pay for the building although he wants everyone to think it's his. Article is not true. But if you want to lose your job, lose your family, lose your home, and go to prison, keep following and supporting Trump. I watched this guy a time or two until I realized that his overblown headlines had nothing to do with H what he actually talked about. He'd be okay if he would tone down the titles to what is real, but I guess he wouldn't stand out then. Dot. Next news. Trump apparently calls in massive McDonald's order to NYC courthouse. The Daily Beast Reuters' Jonathan Ernst Donald Trump reportedly called in a massive McDonald's order to court on Monday, with TMZ capturing staffers in dark suits carrying six large brown bags from the fast food chain I. NTO the New York courthouse where Trump is on trial. Trump's love of the Golden Arches is well documented, with the former president calling in an order of $5,500 worth of grub from fast food restaurants, most of which was from McDonald's. 
to feed the Clemson University football team in 2019 when they below are your comments. It's time for people to realize how much of a threat that he has Page. Heard the judge ask Donnie if he brought enough for everybody. Since he saved a lot of money not paying his fair share of taxes and lawyers' bills. Big Macs and fries, do your jobs. Dot. He's gonna miss fast food when he's in jail. Don't be surprised if he stiffs the guy who ordered it for him. He never asks, okay. How much was that? He never pays. Next news. God help us. John Kelly issues scathing statement on Trump. CNN. John Kelly, the longest-serving White House Chief of Staff for Donald Trump, offered his harshest CR. Itacism yet of the former president in an exclusive statement to CNN. CNN's Jake Tapper reports. Below are your comments. Generals John Kelly and Mark Milley served and protected America with honor and integrity. Donald Trump dodged the draft and built his fortune through bank, business and tax fraud. He disrupted the constitutional transition of power. That MAGAs still support him says so much about them. We know, Mr. We know all of this. It won't change any minds. What we want to know is why did you continue working for him and not provide the scathing review we end these incidents occurred. Honorable men and women have been saying for years this guy is peace caca. Why anyone with any morals at all would cast a vote for him has to be a question for the ages. 44 of Trump's cabinet members 40 believe and stated Trump should not be president. Over 90 percent. How does Trump continue to get support? Kelly had his moment to do the honorable thing but he capitulated and and went mute when it mattered. Most. Next news. Nasty Trump appointed judges block Fearless Fund's grant program for black women. The Root On Saturday, a panel of federal appellate judges temporarily blocked the private and Atlanta-based fee. RLESS fund from awarding $20,000 grants to black women entrepreneurs. Below are your comments. That's the problem with demands for equality, regardless of minority or women rights. Cherry pick some parts and ignore the rest. Equality comes with responsibility and accountability. Nobody wants to hear about that, it's all about entitlements, which by default contradicts equality. Dot. Nasty. The Constitution and laws are pretty clear here. You can't discriminate against race. Can you imagine if rich white people gave away scholarships that were only applicable to white people? E? It would be insanely unfair and illegal, says this. People struggle in all walks of life, N.E.G. This is so amusing, the word nasty. Targeting to a protected, unachieving group. Sounds like discrimination to the common sense crowd. Legally, I am not a lawyer, so I do not know. 
Nevertheless, in 50 years nothing will change. The same failures will be failures. Why? The face in the mirror is th. Next news. Donald Trump says shoplifters should be shot, but does he know who most shoplifters are? The root. When former President Trump hysterically called for shoplifters to be shot in a speech last week BEF or California Republicans, we know who he thinks he's talking about. Black and brown people. We will immediately stop all of the pillaging and theft, Trump said. Very simply, if you rob a store, you can fully expect to be shot as you are leaving that store. Shot. Quote dot. Below are your comments. Theft is theft, no matter what race, ethnicity or economic status of the thief is. Just wrong. Does it matter who they are? If you shoplift, the penalty should be the same for everybody. Criminals come in all races. And society needs to start holding all criminals accountable under the full force of the law. Law is law. Whoever commits crime, they should get punishment. No one is above the law. Next news. Trump turns fraud trial into campaign stop. Associated press videos. Donald Trump's court appearances are no longer distractions from his campaign to return to the White House. They are central to it. October. Below are your comments. What does Trump mean the case took him off the campaign trail? He didn't need to be there. In fact, his being at this trial meant that he could extend the date of another which he was require. D to show up. The media should simply stop following this loud mouth giving him free publicity. Trumpers. Send more money, you need to rescue him smiley face. That's how he got laughed off of the stage at the UN. He started with his usual cult talk and everyone burst out laughing. The poor me whining just doesn't stop. It will never stop as long as he breathes. Next news. Donald Trump reportedly wanted to be paid this astronomical price to sit out the 2024 presidential e election. She knows. If the 2024 presidential race couldn't get any wilder, a new book, Going Infinite. The Rise and Fall of a New Tycoon, on disgraced FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried has entered the chat. The allegations in the publication by Michael Lewis add a whole new level of crazy to American polit. ICS. And of course, it. Below are your comments. This is why Donald Trump is a danger to America and democracy. To him, everything has a price. That is why integrity is so important for leadership. Integrity is the integral part of character. Vast difference in today's politician and statesmen of the past. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.